This is one of many stories of this building. But one of the big things that have happened to us in recent times was we had an estimate, a huge estimate, thousands of dollars for the electrical work. And a company called Choco had called and said, we're going to come to the building and we're going to help just see what we can do. And I figured he was going to talk me through all the things that needed to be done. I was really scared because I had already seen an estimate and it was massive dollars. But I arrived that morning and there were 10 trucks outside. There he was, Brian Trottier. He said, oh, come on in. And when I came into the building, it was just a bevy of activity. There were 11 guys in the building, all running around doing one thing or the other, and I was a bit confused as to what was happening. And he said to me that he had given his team the opportunity to have the day off unpaid or come to Anna's house and volunteer. And he said every man showed up to volunteer. And then he said it would take his men, a couple of men, two weeks to wire this building. But they were going to try their best to wire it in a day. And that's exactly what they did. It was crazy. I'll do the kitchen. I'll do that. I'll do that. It was a hub of activity. And by 3.30, at the end of the working day, they were done. They had wired this entire building. And I was expecting a massive bill. Just, I was so worried. And he just said to me, no, we're going to give you this. And I was completely shocked. In fact, I think I cried because I was just so shocked at what had happened. But it was just great to know that he felt that this is what we could do, this is our community. And this was his investment and I couldn't believe it. And that began an avalanche of giving. So many families, so many men have come here, they framed for free, painted, they put up drywall, they've done all kinds of things. And that's just some of it. And it's been absolutely amazing. And I have to say that it all began because a company called G and E Homes had a breakfast and called all their friends together engineers, designers, painters, contractors, they all came in and after breakfast they said, we're gonna see what we can do to help you. And I figured they would maybe write me a little check or come for an hour or two. But this, this is what they've done so far. It's been wild how uh, the community has just stood up as, as a whole and said, let's help. And so I've been overwhelmed with people saying, I want to do this for you. I want to give you all free curtains, I want to give you free blinds, I want to provide you with a hundred gallons of paint for free, which is what happened. Just stories like that. I have so many of them, but just to say thank you to all those men and to the people who are yet to come. There's still so many more things to go, but with the little or nothing, you can see what's currently happened in the building. And I'm just astounded that every single day, it's something else. It's like, oh, we'll give you this. And, I don't understand, but I do know this, that there is nothing like unleashing the power of a community because when they come together, this is just some of what they can do. Because this building is going to impact the children that we have. And I currently have the graduating class of 2031. To be able to put your hand in the future and bring it in and make a difference right here and right now is what this is all about. And I am so grateful and so thankful. There's no way that the words thank you are going to be enough to repay our community, but I can say this, in 10 to 15 years time, we will still be able to say strong business, strong community, strong families, and for Steinbeck, it's worth the trip.